I want my account to be like Sheena's stomach. Full. Full. <laughs> Full. <laughs> Get your Bibles out. I'm going to learn some good stuff, good stuff. Amen. What to look for, what to run away from. Amen. Uh, tell you right now, write this down. Because a lot is at stake. Before you tie in a link up, <coughs> say ball, ball. That's our second project. <laughs> That's right. I I haven't get them out. Your car, yeah, everything in the trunk. Oh my God. Write this down. Where you get in any relationship, any, any, any. I'm talking about tying you down. You want to be a history major. History major. Somebody don't want to tell you about themselves. Check, please. Don't even go out. Don't even have a check. Okay. And I'll show you why. Uh, let's go to numbers. Holiness is different. You do not defraud people. Amen. Thank you, Maylee. Mm -hmm. Glad Maylee's well. Amen. You do not defraud. Amen. Right, you're gonna make me act up. I got a little DM, DM in me. <laughs> September first. I'm counting down. I'm about to close out my decade now. I got a hair trigger. Numbers chapter fourteen. I think we left off. These people complaining and. Uh, and so the series is what not to marry and and don't be talking about you want a Joshua or Caleb when you got the mentality of one of the ten spies okay because with that man that that type of man and you'll see that type of man uh, you have to be able to keep up because the only reason why that type of man chooses you is because he doesn't think he can get it done without you. How about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have to fulfill your part because that, that man is different. And the Bible says that kind of man is different. Okay. That kind of man. Right. Pick it up at verse 6. And Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, which were of them that searched the land. Kita, Kita, with... girl, Kita. Uh, in my studying, if you look at the two men, these are the desired traits, okay? You got to keep up with the series. These are the desired traits. Um, Joshua had an advantage <laughs> because... Moses had prayed for him and laid hands on him and changed his name. Mm -hmm. So Shem, Caleb is the kind of man where he didn't have that advantage, but he didn't make no excuse. Okay? He went and got it on his own to the point when he told the people to be quiet 
because, you know, they were talking crazy, they were full of fear. And we started the chapter off with them depressing people. Anytime you talk to somebody with fear and doubt, you're going to get depressed. Period. Okay? And, and uh, that's the beauty of data collection. You don't jump into bed and swap saliva and, and all that crazy. So you get to talking to them like, you know, they're getting on my nerves. <laughs> uh, you be like, man, I got somewhere to go. You start making up stuff. Okay, because, you know, they're, they're depressing you, right? Or they think you're going to be a therapist for the rest of your life. Hmm. Y'all going to make me act a fool? <laughs> a therapist. You want somebody with some energy. Right. A go-getter. Yes. You get one client, you want somebody to say, baby, man, you, you balling. I see, I had a dream that you had three more clients. Mm -hmm. That's not what you want. The one, I'm talking about, the one you got, you're going to lose. <laughs> Man. Hey, so you got to be a history major. I think I thought this before. I'm going to do another tweet. You got to be a history major. Uh, find out what kind, of, uh, what kind of success are they used to. Right? This Caleb, this, this, this Caleb is so... Awesome. <laughs> he didn't get the laying on the hands, which is an advantage. Darnell, but that's not, but you know, he didn't quit. And he didn't, he wasn't looking at Joshua cross eyed. Right. Right. You understand? It like, you know, that was your advantage. Some people just have advantages. Right. Okay. What's that to do with you? Nothing. Man, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer in self confidence. I ain't talking about arrogance, oh. except the arrogance of purpose. But you got to have self confidence. When I started Grace Apostolic Church, I didn't care what Salem had. I know right. they weren't going to the hood. They weren't going up in Pleasant View. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't care. I wasn't like, no, I wasn't hanging around their parking lot, uh, seeing who couldn't dress, who they wouldn't let in. <laughs> Some of, most of them can't dress. Shut up, Bob. Uh, uh, so, no, I didn't, you know, I just did me. Okay? There was an opening for me. Amen. Right? Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we call it niche. It's Ooh. really niche, all right? There, there's an opening. There's something you're good at. And, and remember, I declare September is operating your gift month, all right? right. Which it should be every month, but. Right. So K Caleb, Caleb, you know, he went to the, uh, the graves of the patriarchs, and he prayed, and he, 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 he you know, he, he believed in God and he went for it without any anointing or touch or, or, or the laying on of hands. So because he had that built within, that's why you talk to people. You know, it's too bad I didn't get some of y'all when y'all were 14 before. You went to bed with the wrong, let's just go there, with the wrong people. You went to bed with people, you had children. You love your children, but man, who you went to bed with? It's a wonder you don't go to Nebraska Furniture tomorrow and start crying. Oh, open the bedding section. <laughs> okay. Like, no, don't go downstairs. I can't. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Better get some of y'all sofas, floors, everything bother you. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Kitchen counters, you know. All you postmen that rung once, not twice. Uh, but you should have been talking. Talking, 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 getting a history lesson. Okay, the ideal situation is why I love watching my kids, man. You coming up, homie? Dick. Not because you just bought me that chocolate chip cookie the other night. That's an extra. <laughs> That's in your favor. Yeah. <laughs> but you wanna you wanna you wanna you wanna marry your best friend. That's right. People who are not best friends, they have Come a on. long haul. Come on. Right. They don't know each other. Yes. All right? Yes. yes. They ain't seen each other, act crazy. Mm. And only when they do, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's Chucky. <laughs> oh, for real. For real. That's Chucky. You want to talk to people. Talk to what's on their mind. Okay, and so, so, K 
Caleb, uh, his decision, Gabby, his stance didn't affect him. It affected his children. That's in your Bible. Mm -hmm. Okay? That'd be like if you mess up, it's going to affect your children. Okay, say that. You choose the wrong dude. Let yes. the wrong dude come in your yes, house. Sir. It's going to yes, affect sir. your children. That's right. Okay? Affect your kids, your daughter. going to affect them. So you have a lot at stake, right? And what made Caleb, the Bible said, what made Caleb special, he had a, write this down, a different kind of spirit. People go out of the way to look different. Now, they cut color their hair, man. Somebody got that color. Somebody got that color. Tattoo, tramp, stamp, whatever you want to call it. Some man, come on. All that's common. People drawn on their breasts, everything. Just, if you can't spare, leave all that alone. <laughs> <laughs> that, that ain't no good look. That's in there. You can't cover up, huh? Come on now. <laughs> What would the game put a butterfly on his face? Come on, homie. How you going to be a blood with a butterfly? Oh, yeah. That's your generation. I ain't mad. I don't like needles, okay? But that doesn't make you different, okay? What makes you different is you have faith while everyone else has fear. Mm -hmm. That makes you different. When you don't care nothing about the voice statistics, we the kabungies over here. We're going to make it, whatever obstacles come. Huh? That's what makes you different. Different. You can do a good job with somebody, but who in here? Don't lie to me because it, it, it's September 1st. Uh, but I want my own. <coughs> and if I work for you, I, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to parlay. That's what makes you different. What makes you different is you can be kept without somebody watching you. Right. Okay. Uh, you ain't trying to be sneaky. Look what sneak got you. Uh, that's what makes you different. Hey Amen. You, you, if you, if you want, want to tear up, don't watch Love and Hip Hop. That's just the old you on TV. Watch, uh, uh, get on Facebook and pull up Davion's testimony he just gave. Mm. Mm? His testimony. You know, you can be gifted, but if you don't have self-discipline, I don't care where you go. Right. Um, and so I hit him up. I said, you know what? The beautiful thing is, it's a phenomenal gift. Oh, my goodness. But God trusts him. Amen. That's what makes you different. God can trust you. And, and in the house of God, Sam, because you knew him. You always got sneaky people. I don't care what I preach. Man, if I did a handstand, which I can't, if I did a handstand, it wouldn't matter. All right? Somebody always trying to rework what's already proven not to work. Right. <laughs> All the time. Okay. Or we in the same situation. I'm having a baby too. No, you're not. Right. You might be having a baby because you screwed. Right. But it's a different situation. Yes. Sir. I waited on God. You went after somebody. I mean, if I always try to rework, you can't rework holiness. Right. I had to get that out. Amen. Man, I mean, before you get it twisted. Huh? All that old crazy stuff. What makes you different is nobody has to watch you. Hmm? That you believe God, that you can play your piano in the dark, huh? That, 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 that you want the best life that God has possible in the earth and you will understand by yourself. Amen. That's what makes you different. How you gonna run with a Kayla when you can't stand by yourself? When you're a natural born groupie. Ain't nothing worse than a groupie. Okay. We pray for eight ball. I forget the other dude. I keep it as an MGJ, something, MGJ. something in the alphabet. <laughs> somebody in the alphabet. Uh, little, little, little groupies didn't even want to pray. Man, if you're getting, getting your back blown out, you need prayer. Yeah. <clears throat> that pill, like, what makes you stand out? You so hardcore. Uh, oh, if you only could hear dudes talk. Dudes want what they can't have. I mean, they done had you. Dudes, 
dudes in the NFL, they pass women over to other dudes. Can you, get, can you, get, can you take care of her? Get her off of my back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says something else. Wow. Mm -hmm. Teach. You need to know that. Huh? Ain't nothing particular about you. If you got three breasts, two twats, maybe you have a running chain. Other than that, no, it's common. Right. It's called standard equipment. <laughs> but make, well, man, I told y'all, y'all should have said, hey, man, I'm in my DMX right now. No, go with it. Right? <laughs> so that all, that'll make you different. Mm -mm. Huh? <laughs> Beefing with somebody on favor, he don't want either one of y'all. Hmm? Y'all can be bunkies up there in Douglas County. <laughs> Sellies. <laughs> what makes you different is when you can stand by yourself and you believe God and God trusts you. That's what makes somebody think about you. Because you can with a Caleb. Caleb is a long ranger without time to talk. He proved it. Okay? And he ended up being a blessing to his kids. So let's play this both ways. If you always have to have a group of people around you, you, you can't be with Caleb. Quit lying to yourself. Huh? Because he'll make moves, financial moves, that'll blow you and your four friends' mind. A man like Caleb is not going to sit there and get an opinion poll and ask you how you feel about something. If he wants to move his family to a six-bedroom house, you better get two men in a truck and load up. Now uh, he going, man, man, come on. Uh, but I'm not going. What if I feel about it? If you even find a man that want a six-bedroom house, you don't have no feelings. <laughs> I hope that man ain't listening, the one who quit that, didn't take that job because his wife had to pray about it. Mm -mm. <laughs> I hope he ain't listening to this. I hope he If we do, turn off and go listen to sports or something. Okay? That's crazy. A Caleb is a... Oh, man, it's going to get with it. I got kids here, though, man. I tell y'all, this is... Anyway, they ain't paying no attention. They ain't paying no attention. They'll probably tell you what I said afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Explain it to you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you this man's spirit, and then I'm going to mess with you with some music. I ain't played music in a while. Uh, I want you to be so phenomenal that if, 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 if you in West Omaha and he's across the bridge, he miss you. Uh, hey, 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 Ronald Reagan, I told you Ronald Reagan, this wife used to write each other notes in the house. They let the kids know early they couldn't wait till they leave. Leave. Get out of here. <laughs> you can put a little note on the milk. Psst, your last sip is coming up. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, on, that's right. Mm. <laughs> Anytime you see a husband and wife and, and, uh, and everything's around the kids and not each other, mm -hmm. somebody's unhappy. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, well, you got to unplug yourself, all right? But I want someone, if you listen, if you don't get mad and leave and whatever, I ain't following you now, but you can go ahead and five doors. That's called the grace ex exit. Mm -hmm. uh, five is a number of grace. There's five exits out there. It's that somebody will miss you because that person has that rhythm to keep up. It's a rhythm, okay? It's, 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 it's not, I can't wait you to get home so I can let them know how I feel. No, when they get home, we have a strategy, we have a plan, we, we, we have a county we're, uh, we're looking at, we're not going to waste a year. It is a rhythm. That's somebody who can keep their beat. And I'm going to tell you tonight, if you don't get mad, what part of the brain that is? It's the gear shifter in the brain. Y'all want that now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, before I go off into something else. It's called the interior. Write this down. 
Singular gyrus. I taught this before. Mm -hmm. ACG, that's the brain gear shifter. Anterior cingulate, C-I-N-G-U-L-A-T-E, gyrus, G-Y-R-U-S. That's the brain's gear shifter. That you can go forward in faith, that you can move, that you won't sit there like a deer in headlights, can't move, okay? Because of the challenges of life, no matter who you hook up with, and they could be the, the ideal person, you're going to have to face challenges. You're going to have hurdles you have to go over. All right? So if it's a high hurdle champ, you good. But if they knocking all hurt, man, if they hurt out the block, if they trying to run around hurdles, okay? Marathon. Don't be like Rosie Ruiz, come out of a car at the end <laughs> and act like you won. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Because in marriage, in marriage, you say, what about going together? We don't have no, it's not going together class. This ain't, don't come, this ain't no going, this ain't no boo up, this ain't, how, me, how can I work my thing out? There's no covenant, this ain't the class for you. Right. Right? Wasting all that good loving for nothing. <laughs> all right, you get old, your face won't move no more. You're talking about you can't feel your face. <laughs> It's called the anterior cingulate gyrus. Write this down. It's the brain's major switching station. It's the gear shifter. It runs lengthwise through the deep parts of the frontal lobes. You ever, heard, you ever met somebody who's stuck? Yep. This is why. <laughs> okay. Stuck. You may not like what I say, but you can't ever accuse me of trying to freeze you where you are. Amen. You better not let me know what your gift is. If you let me know what your gift up, it's cracking. Mm, that's the beauty of not being from Omaha. I don't know how to hate on you. Right? You let me know what your gift is. Now, nah, now, nah, some of y'all claim certain gifts. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's try this. You as much of a singer as I am a weightlifter. See, see, see. <laughs> see, see. It's obvious. Amen. I ain't lifting nothing but salad forks. <laughs> Amen. Okay. So, so, but, 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 if you let me know what you're get, what you're good at. Let's go with it. Because I don't want you stuck. Because stuck people are bitter people. Right. Mm -hmm. I'd rather make you mad like I'm going to prove him wrong. I'm going to go get that job. I'm going to go make that quarter of a million dollars. I'm going to start my own business. I can do it. Man, it's oh happy day. I'm happy. Amen. Amen. But what I won't do is sit be trying to hold you back. So I can shine. I'm going to shine anyway. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> I'll hold you back. Amen. I want that gear shift. Moving. Okay. You go first gear. Sometimes, depending on the sports car. Depending on how it's red, you might skip first gear. Second gear, third gear. But man, you got to learn how to down shift. Okay, you gotta learn how to sit up on a hill and stabilize it yeah. between the clue, oh, that's pretty stuff, between the clutch, and you gotta learn all that stuff. You that's can't be right. sliding back down the intersection. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> you can't got that, huh? Then you can't burn out the clutch while you're doing it. That's good. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, you have people who, man, know how to shift, and uh, you got somebody, man, they can't even drive a car that's automatic. Y'all not going to get along, okay? Show you Caleb is, has, has a quick gear shift. And so he went after the dream. Are you ready? Go back to numbers, numbers, numbers. So, so. Okay. All right, what do you want? The last part of the... It runs lengthwise. That part? 
lengthwise through the deep parts of the frontal lobes, the gear shifter. If y'all collecting data, there's a lot of silence, y'all ain't for each other. Then maybe y'all are. Maybe neither one of y'all know nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm serious. That's why you talk. Talk, talk, talk. Hmm? But no, do know this. Let's talk about black men since I've been one of them my whole life. Most of them who've never seen a father art, they've never, every, every, every black man has some pimp in the family. There's always some pimp, always some player, uh, Ohio player, whatever player. It's all, <laughs> every family has one of them. But they've never seen a father and mother and a father sit down there and talk and converse, generally speaking. So generally when that man is bothered, he just clams up and won't say nothing. Uh, and then you make it work, talking about what's wrong with you? Why ain't you saying nothing? He's trying to go to the bathroom, not to do number one or number two, to get away from you, and you stand outside banging on the door. <laughs> Y'all just say, man, because you're guilty. <laughs> Girl, they, 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 they yeah. shut down. They've never seen no one converse. Okay? Numbers 14. So we got these two people. Read verse 7. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we pass through to search it is an exceeding good land. Look at, look at that. When a person's gear shift is working right, they are positive. Mm -hmm. They are positive. Okay? It's an exceeding good land. Oh, look at Caleb and Joshua. We don't care about no giants. We don't care about all the Ivites or Hittites. We don't care who is there. First of all, God said it's ours. And it's a good land. And if we have a good God, a good God will give us a good land. A good God will bless you to get from a good God. He said, what about the weapons formed against me? The Bible said those weapons won't prosper. They will be formed, but they will not prosper. You are going to possess, not rent. You're going to possess some things in life. Somebody thank God. Not section eight. You're going to possess Well, I mean, if you got possession on your mind, I'm talking about my man and he don't want you. That's my old lady and you're only 20? That's not a good future. <laughs> Verse 8. If the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it us, a land which floweth with milk and honey. Positive, positive. Can I have some positive daughters? Can I have some positive sons? Can I have two Amen. positive people Amen. get together? Amen. But then you're going to have some positive children. Well, your child think they can do everything. Because they're being fed. Okay, they're being fed. They're being fed. What you don't want is someone who is can't handle pressure so when they go home they take it out on all the kids because they can't handle pressure all right uh you're supposed to be able to shut it down at the driveway the door the screen the porch whatever and then go in there and hug those kids amen because it's a teaching moment uh, you don't dump your frustrations on your kids The whole house looked like the octagon. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> one child you put into a, uh, a guillotine, the other one you arm barred. Wow. And you know it's you when everything in the house quits moving when you come in. Fish don't swim, dog don't bark. Cat don't mean plants quit growing. Goldfish act like they did. <laughs> Cause you hell on wheels. Hmm? Everybody get quiet. Even the ropes puts his towel down. <laughs> <laughs> he done dropped the Ritz cracker. <laughs> well, that's cause you can't handle pressure. And nobody wants you to come home. Right? Nobody wants you to come home. <coughs> Go back to work. 
Put in some overtime. Read it. Whoever that was for, swallow. Verse 9. Only rebel not ye against the Lord, neither fear ye the people of the land. So you can't be with Caleb if you're not spiritual. How y'all like that? I didn't say come to church. Mm -hmm. It says spiritual. Right? Be because when God tells you that something is for you and, and if you don't have enough faith, you will be in rebellion. Okay? All right. Trust me, you don't want to marry a rebel. Why are we going to church? We went last week. Uh, and did nothing happen? Come on now. You went to the club last week too. Come on now. That's a rebel. He said, rebel not against the Lord. Are you spiritual enough to be with a Caleb? Because he's going forward. Oh, man, this, is a, this man going forward. Nothing's going to stop this man. Hey, man, he is going forward. Oh, you got to have somebody who breathes their dream. It's, a, it's in their skin. They want it. All right, they don't make no excuse. They're willing to sacrifice. They're going to make it happen. Somebody look at me like I'm a star. You never heard of that? You never seen that kind of man, a woman? They want it. And I'm not talking about they act like they've lost their mind and they're crazy. No, they want it bad to the point where you're trying to tell them they can't even hear you because you're not talking the music that's in their ear. Y'all ain't hearing me. Huh? Who in here know God did not put them in the earth to be mediocre? Amen. To be the, the freezing somebody else's shadow. You a front runner. You the head of the class. You a boss. Amen. You a go getter. You a shot caller. Amen. You ain't nobody in the back of no bus, back of no school, back of nothing. Come on now. Then you ought to look like it, act like it, talk like it, drive like it, sit like it. Your confidence, not arrogant, your confidence should get on folks' nerves. Amen. But your humility <laughs> makes folk love you. Mm -hmm. How y'all like that? You got to be spiritual. Read. Neither fear ye the people of the land. You can't be with Caleb if you're afraid or Joshua. And you fear people. Some of the people that you call your friend, only your friend, because you ain't did nothing spectacular. Do something spectacular and see what happens. Okay. Huh? I don't care if your drinking buddy, your gambling buddy, who's at the gym. Do something. Hey, man, tell me, uh, uh, why are you at the gym? Well, I went to look to see if I can build my own. Watch what happened. They can't lift away. They can't get on the treadmill looking at you. <laughs> How dare you leave us? Huh? Do something spectacular. Talk about attending class or doing, or do, watch what happens. They'll peel off like an orange. They're only with you because you are where they are. How y'all like that? Yep. Hmm? You say too much, you say too many things positive, the phone gets cold. You're like, are you still there? Are you still there? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, that's right. I think, I think that'll work. What I just say, I don't know, but I think it'll work. They weren't listening. Huh? Can I go on and get this? Is why you don't jump in bed with nobody. If you have too many dreams and, 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 and they are possessed with you in the wrong way, obsessed with you, they'll try to unplug you or start threatening you. Okay? Ooh, buddy. That's why you don't go to bed with people. When you go to bed with people, you're messing with the psychotic part of their mind. God meant for sex to be that way. Okay? You want to be able to walk away. You, I don't care if it's at Popeye. Get your two-piece and a biscuit and leave. Huh? Don't be going on nobody's house talking about, I want an intimate dinner. I don't know you like that. We need to be out with floodlight. I'm going to have all my relatives there. I'm going to have some people spotting. Hey, I don't know you like that. Come to your house. Well, hey, one of my daughters married dude found out it wasn't even his house. <laughs> it wasn't even his house. Putting her down, talking about you ain't got nothing. He didn't have nothing. Surprise, it's going to power. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me? Mm -hmm. Amen. Talk, 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 talk. 
I don't know what's on your mind. You just taking your behind works. Well, let's see what's on your mind, right? Read. For they are bread for us. They are bread. You cannot be Caleb and Joshua. They look at problems and obstacles as something that they're going to consume. They're not going to be consumed. They're going to consume it. Bread means when I get through with it, no matter what opposition you bring, I'm going to be nourished and I'm going to have the victory. Amen. That's a mentality. You need to find that out. All right? You don't want nobody falling apart on you. He said there'll be bread for us. We're talking about giants. We're talking about big things. We're talking about no, I know what God told me. I know what's in my spirit. I know my gift. I think I'm going to get this thing done. It'll be bread. The degree will be bread. The business will be bread. Amen. The real estate will be bread. It's all bread. Huh? Right, right. Don't get scared. They may walk around with a loaf of bread. Tell them, I see this. Keep looking. It won't be here. I will consume this. That is not a nut. That's somebody who's motivated. There's nothing wrong with you knowing who you are in God and why you are here. That's better than you letting somebody else define you. Yeah, if you let somebody define you, you'll never have definition. Uh, excuse me, learning who you are at 54 is too late. You 54. You, you done ran out of die. You can't even die all the gray hairs where they're showing up at. You run out of shellac. <laughs> Talking about, oh, I think I'm supposed to teach school. Excuse me? That ain't every time, baby. You're supposed to be walking out. Okay, now you understand why we teach young love? Ain't nothing better than young love. You ain't got nothing better than young love. Huh? I don't care about your edible condoms, glow-in-the-dark condoms, anything, any other toy you got. You ain't got nothing better than young love. That's you right. ain't got nothing better, amen, than somebody who don't know who big, who small, who don't have whatever. You ain't got nothing better than that. Where well, you grow together and get old together, amen, and sit on the porch and wave together. You ain't got nothing better than that. Oh, infected folk at the club, half washed they behind. <laughs> How you hook up with strangers? You turn on the news, everybody in their family is a crime stopper. <laughs> whole, whole family wanted. <laughs> Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is with us, fear them not. Verse 10. But all the congregation. Here, come, here comes opposition now. Mm. All right? So, so if you were a Joshua or Caleb, there's some folk that are going to hate you and despise you. Okay? Especially the people that you left. Right? And then you, you, you make it worse by not putting them in your wedding. Oh, well, now they're ready to blow the place up. <laughs> they circling the place. And <laughs> 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 Ain't that old crazy girl? Thank God for Tracy Marsh. Amen. Man, man, no crazy. Man. Now, I don't know what kind of cat you were out there, Bo, but God gave you another chance, right? Man, Bo, man, this girl going to send word back to the hood church. Don't you know? Man, if you look at the front door, there's an indentation from a bullet. Okay? It's a hood church. Talking about she gonna wreck the wedding, man. Talking about man, you know where you at? Right. This ain't no Catholic place. <laughs> we ain't gonna be doing nothing like this. <laughs> you ain't wrecking nothing in here. <laughs> we got ex hoodlums, heifers, uh, hit men, hit women. Mad. Bad girl team. Mad. And then, you know, they really want you to marry and come up. Somebody look better, smell better, everything better. Oh, man. Gonna wreck the place. No, you're not. You can wreck nothing here. God has a right in that water. That's why we do baptism here. God has a right to have somebody start all over again. Amen. That's the beauty of baptism in Jesus' name. You get to start all over again. Huh? 
Oh, come on. That's weak. That's the best thing ever happened in your life. That's God right. gave you another chance. Amen. You ain't got nothing that. Amen. You should hear yourself speaking in tongues in the parking lot. Amen. That's the best thing ever happened to you. Yeah. Now you're about to walk in your Ooh, destiny. Oh now you know who you are. Yeah. Amen. All that mess is behind you. You got that monkey off your back. Yeah. Ain't no stopping you. Nothing. Got you some discipline. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, now, the other side of that is get ready for some hatred. Right. Uh-huh. Are people doubting you? And people still think, Jeff, you don't know, man. People still think I sell drugs, man. I ain't trying to change their mind. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't ride around in no Batmobile and no Lotus, hunting down people in Kia's, talking about what you say about me. <laughs> what that look like? Huh? A load is behind a kid talking about, I heard what you said. Yeah. I don't care what you say. That's right. Huh? You need to be uh, trying to upgrade, get to the next model. Come on now, huh? You got to live with that. You got to live with it. Here comes people trying to stone them. You can't, if you're a ride or die chick, can't let them like, well, you know what? We, where's she at? Oh, man. Your family might stand again because they used to working uh, $8 an hour. You don't want to start your own business. Uh, you, you uppity now. Y'all know we're coming up. Right. Right. Looking up. Not Can you take the hatred? The lies. Huh? Let's go and get hood with it. Your ex lying on you. Let's, let's get plural. Exes. X <laughs> See, I ain't from here, so I don't know these people. People talk about I went to school in Barlow. No, you didn't, fool. I'm from Indianapolis. All right? He went to North. No, he went to Central. No, he went to North Central. No. <laughs> But, but no, I've had people call me about some of y'all, though. Try to. I don't care. I don't want to hear that. I ain't from here. All right? Because no one thought you would come out of the ditch you were in. That's right. Here, here, this was deep. Then when you get out of the ditch, they blame me. Yeah. <laughs> ain't that crazy? Uh -huh. huh? But the difference is, I can take it. This ain't my twin brother up here. This is me. And the Lord give me I'll be here tomorrow for Bible class. Uh, if I don't go out of town, I'll be here Sunday. When people, can you be with Caleb or Joshua with people trying to stone you? Mm -hmm. Kill your reputation. Come Sabotage on, your business. Come on, Bishop. Huh? Mm -hmm. Here the man loves you. You told him the truth. I had one of my daughters, my daughter's honest. Told the dude everything. Here's somebody going to try to back. Talk about, Did you know this about her or by him? That's why I tell people, tell your own story. I don't care what the story is, you tell it. Don't let somebody tell your story. Because they're going to tell it wrong. Huh? Come on, Usher, if it's your confession, you got to tell it all. Which he didn't. Nice song, though. Good beat. Okay? Uh, well, here comes somebody wanting to stone you. Stone you. Now what you going to do? You're going to tell Caleb, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know all this was involved. Excuse me, you, you're learning tonight. You cannot be with Joshua or Caleb and not have opposition. And don't be faking like you are a, 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 a hood chick with some wash off tattoo. If it ain't you, it ain't you. Right. Come okay? On. You ought to be able to do that back to back. I got it. I don't care what angle it comes from. To, if they're going to swing on you, they're going to swing on me. Amen. My family, ain't nobody stopping us. Amen. Um, now you have a love affair. Now you have what I'm about to play that song. Now somebody will miss you when you're not around. They feel empty. 
When you're not around, they feel naked. Your presence, your, 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 your emotions, uh, the way you do things, your mannerisms, everything breathes success and, 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 and faith and positivity. Where's she at? Where he at? Right. Lord, have mercy. This, and this is not out of your reach. So quit thinking, like, don't look at me like it. it's not out of your reach. It takes the word of God. I'm not talking about coming to church. I'm talking about it takes the word of God and letting the word get down to your heel. Amen. All your word can't be in your notebook. Got to be in your spirit. Amen. Okay? And it will be tested. Pop quizzed. Okay? Everybody get tested in the holiness, man. And Satan, what, man, right. little girl at the bank today. Oh, man. Mm -mm. She put the bank be tripping. I'm going to mess with her tomorrow. She need a slap. No, nah, I'm just going to show up in something she ain't seen in a while. They think I eat it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> All I asked her to do, you know, just made my little deposit. I had some 50s in my, I don't want no 50s. I don't even gamble, but they say they bad luck. I just don't like them. Say, so you got some hundreds in She, I mean, don't pass out, love. I didn't say that. See, I was good. <laughs> it was only, there was nobody behind me. Huh? Hey, uh, no, there wasn't nobody behind me. She, I almost tried to compliment her because she tried to have her hair down so that little struggle with her band, a little pullback struggle. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I need to know her name. <laughs> Over a few 50s. We need to know her. So I want to thank God tonight for self-control. <laughs> Write her name down. Nah, nah I'm going to help her tomorrow. I'll get her. Tomorrow we're going to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> opposition is coming your way. Yes, sir. If you two keep opposition mm -hmm. already, you're mm -hmm. too young. Mm -hmm. Million dollar question. What were you doing when you were 20? That's right. <clears throat> Wasting time. Yep. How y'all going to do? If we're not asking you for help, it ain't none of your business. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We ain't asking you for help. That's right. Well, how are you going to go back and forth? Excuse me, you don't even have a car. So does it even matter? <laughs> <laughs> you have no transportation. <laughs> it's none of your business. <coughs> Let us work this thing out. Huh? <clears throat> Let us trust God. Just make sure you buy the book and the hard copy and the paperback when we write the story on what two people can do when they trust God. Amen. Let's go ahead and go there. Don't be calling me crying because somebody is mad because you done ran to the love of your life. Take it. There you go. Take the opposition. Yeah. Uh, Bishop, I just had to talk to you. My aunt, what that punch bowl she let me borrow. <laughs> Look, baby, if it wasn't in La Ligue or something like that, don't worry about it. Go to Sam's Club. You get four of them. It, it ain't La Ligue. It ain't back around. It ain't crystal, baby. It's plastic. Come on now. You can go get four of them tonight at the grocery store. Buy the lettuce. <laughs> don't, don't. How many of y'all ready for that kind of opposition? Lie. Come on, get your lie in. <laughs> Come on, get your lie in. Opposite. So do you really think you're going to marry Joshua Caleb and not have opposition? What Bible are you in? These people try to stone them, which means they try to kill them, which means somebody's going to try to kill your love affair. That's why you don't have to try to kill your love affair. Somebody else going to try it. <laughs> All right. You don't need to try to kill it. That's right. Here it is right here. Opposition. Wow, who they mad at? 
because you want to go forward and they were stuck. That's what happens when your mind is progressive. People want to oppose you. Don't lie. Don't defraud. Here's why. You get a man, Gabby, wants his own business. Get that. Let me use my wine. Started grass at the post office. She was working music on my hall. You know, always kept me some vehicles. Started church. Had to get rid of two sport cars. One day, voluntary repossession. Gave the other one a, just sold one. Voluntary. Had a car repoed. The car she drove. Music on my hall. She come comment talking about car gone. I talking about it's stolen. <laughs> No, oh, it wasn't stolen when you ain't made a payment in five months. That ain't stolen. That's repo. Okay? All that. Suffering. Mm -hmm. Had to make a night movie. Y'all know what a night movie is? We, we ain't talking uh -oh, about the sun went down. We ain't talking about you don't start moving until. <clears throat> I want to tell you. Okay? Huh? Suppose he's like, man, this is. All because started a church from scratch. Right, right. Losing man, talking about losing stuff. Boy, she would have bailed out. Uh -huh. You realize what kind of car she had, driven. <laughs> Boy, she would have bailed out. You understand? That's why I'm gonna linger on this. I know you want it, but do you want the opposition to go with the blessing? Okay? Sabotage your business. People who dedicate the rest of their life to destroy yours. Are y'all ready for that? Wow. Are you going to buckle? I ain't talking about you putting, no, putting, putting, putting a nine millimeter in your girdle walking around <laughs> ice cubing people. Okay? Now I'm talking about Thou prepares the table before me where? In the presence. Amen. Ain't talking about no folding table. How many of y'all want a big long table? Huh? Y'all know anything about furniture? There, there, there's this, this, this heritage heirloom table where the whole, where the dining room table start here and in there. We ain't talking about no card table. <laughs> Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You got to conduct a love affair, a business, a life with enemies everywhere. With a smile on your face. Where you two become tickled. Where you up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Did you see them hating on us? Ain't that pillow with they trifling self? <laughs> no, no, no. you trying to block the door. Uh, uh, no, nah, I'm going to go get them. You don't do me like, now see, you ain't ready for no warfare. Okay? He got to hold you back. You got to undo the weave, take the nails off, everything. Come on now. Fighting at a five-star red, like you still in Broncos parking lot. Like you at the holiday tournament, embarrassing somebody. Huh? Fighting some scallywag, too. <laughs> Talking about, I saw her look at you. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying that I <laughs> Don't embarrass Caleb. Don't embarrass Joshua. Because you can't take it. How about this? How about the opposition is on the same level as the blessing? All right. Now it's a different look, ain't it? Okay. How about you can always tell where you're going by the spirit trying to stop you? Mm -hmm. I'm going to mess with y'all. You can always tell the area you're about to blow up because that's the area that Satan is, amen, giving all that. So if it's your finances, somebody here about to get paid, amen. He's doing everything he can to discourage you. Here's why you, man, all of a sudden, here come the people trying to stone you. Here come the opposition, whatever. Yeah, you know, you, you, whatever your company is, here come another gym. You just get your gym, here come 24-hour fitness right across the street. 
Uh, see what I'm talking about? They got money. They got equipment. You got your stuff leased. You're trying to get it. But now all of a sudden, man, you can't be falling apart talking about where you are. You got bricks all in your car. You're going to bust their windows. Up. <laughs> You're like, what the hell? What, what you, what you? No, nah, they know we on that corner. How dare them move across the street? No, thank God. That way you can sit out there and watch people leave them and walk across. <laughs> it's easy to clap here. I just, I just, I just, I just but let them move across the street. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Notice how CVS, wherever there's a wall, green. CVS, yeah. <laughs> now, when have you ever seen executives from Wall Green come out? Hmm? Competition. Right. Huh? Competition. That's right. Started Grace, only had my wife and my son. It was it, man. It was St. Mark, St. Some, Solomon this, Solomon that, New Hope, Last Hope, First Hope, Third Hope. <laughs> it, 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 it was churches everywhere. <laughs> what I care? <laughs> it churches everywhere. Even the reverend, I still carrying mail, you know, I'm trying to get it done, man. I'm carrying mail, I'm going to school, VA, going to sleep at UNO, everything, man. Because my kids is from the projects, man. They, I'm warning about crazy stuff, man. They was happy, they just was happy because of the way I treated them. But it was killing me. And then, then, then here come a right reverend with his teeth missing. So I'm talking about, uh, uh, ain't none of your members ever going to be right. <laughs> I didn't have the kind of members where I could tell them because they go kill him. I mean, because my members was mad. <laughs> when well, okay. I thought my members was happy, they weren't, they were high. <laughs> Y'all ain't mad. I'm talking about who I started with, for real. They, they were jumping around, and then there'd be some kibbling bits on the floor. I mean, it wasn't nothing I said. <laughs> One time I was carrying me, I see my little van, I just had making payments on, there go my van. Somebody said they saw my band at D-Cat Lounge, man. They were just using me. Young pastor didn't know what I was doing, but I loved them. Man, my son James, one of them, man, the one that shot four men, she used to babysit for him. My wife said, you gonna let her babysit? Maybe she done shot four men. Ain't nothing gonna happen to our child. <laughs> she done shot four men. Our kid gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> man, I, man, hey, I'm telling you, I come up hard, y'all. Huh? <laughs> But, 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 but watch this now. I'm trying to help the newlyweds. My opposition came early. Yeah. Had a murder trial three months. A murder trial. Dude, call me. Two people who I went to go pick up a Bible class. Couldn't come there to kill somebody. We knocking on the door. Matter of fact, it was Leanna, the one with the 5,000 square foot home. Because she, you know, recompensed. She knocked on the door, they didn't show up. Okay, oh, I know, man, come on now. We know they're there. <laughs> I was the van driver. I was everything. Got a call one in the morning. Sean, Sean, Sean. Yeah, uh, hey, what's up? It's three in the morning. I just killed somebody. Oh, well, wonderful. <laughs> Where are you at? I'm in Tommy Road. I'll be right there. Like. Did they, uh, they said they just killed somebody? Sure enough. Went there, I called, you know, I called, uh, uh, matter of fact, it's the rich realtor lady, Cindy Forehead, her husband was in the forest then. Like, you know what, I just got a call, something them popped off at Tommy Road, boop, boop, I'm gonna beat y'all there. Sure enough, here come the dude, come out. He come out staggering, he done killed the dude, done cut himself up, make it look like it was self defense so he staggered out, you know, he good actor. Found out at the murder trial, he killed his grandmother's boyfriend. The who was going to die anyway. They was going to, he was going to die, supposed to live, he was going to die anyway. Killed him, took him from one street, a whole block, and took him over her house, the next block over, and put him on the porch. 
I told y'all, man, I told you this story. So, murder trial, so they come asking me, yeah, boo, boo, boo. I didn't know, man, I knew, man, I didn't know the family was that treacherous. And I seen my life flash before me. Because the fam, remember I got my little storefront, I spelled Wednesday right, I thought it was classy. And I'm there by myself, right there on 33rd and Law. Here come fam banging on the door. Open the door up, this dude, man, his arm bigger than my chest. I'm like, you Barlow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's me. And talk to you. I'm gonna die. What? Well, can't think of a better day than today. Come on, come on in. Come on in. <laughs> man, I, just, I think I told somebody in my office. I done been in situations where I forget. It's like if this is it, this is gonna be it. Did you say that? Uh, on the stand? Oh, I ain't got no sense. Golly, man. Told him the story, General. Did you say you said my brother killed her? <laughs> I leaned forward. I'm just to be dead. <laughs> I leaned forward. Said, yeah, that's what I said. I waiting to die now. <laughs> no, nah, it's, it's me and him. This two, right. me and him. That fool. You right, Barlow. And start crying. <laughs> I could have wet on myself. <laughs> True story, huh? But, but, but the opposition, I didn't get a chance to, I ain't never been favorite, except when I was growing up. But when I started this, that's why I act the way I act. You can't be looking at opposition for no 30 years. 30 years, it started with, I'm trying to help somebody. You looking for the love of your life, but Karen, if he show up, you are gonna need that sense of humor. That thing gonna oppose you. Matter of fact, some of y'all, ain't nobody in your family ever had a love affair. Ain't no way in the world. And they've been religious, but they ain't never lived nothing. Anybody got some of them? Yep. Spent half their life in church screwing. Ain't lived nothing. Went to church drunk. Was in the choir drunk. Saying hallelujah when the man was praying, just drunk. All of a sudden, you're going to get... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now what you gonna do? You gonna call me? That may hurt his feelings. Not that, not that I, you said, but you always taught us to reach up for help. I'm teaching you now what to do. Hmm? Day one, I had Bo and Tracy up here. We actually have all my couples. Then we used to pray for them. Mm -hmm. How many years of hell? 10, 11 years from the time I prayed for them, Sham. They had two little beautiful girls, girls that didn't look real, in their house. They flipped. Flipped. From the, see, holiness is real. This ain't no church. That's why you saw what happened on Sunday. This ain't no religious experience over here. This is as real as it gets. It's so real as that the minute you decide you want to walk, really walk with God, who know what I'm talking about? All hell breaks loose. Yep. Okay, but, 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 but that's all right. But if you marry someone and they're cognizant of that fact, then both of y'all, man, you still conduct your love affair with all hell breaking loose, amen. Because you laughing like, we ain't dying, we gonna multiply. We, they ain't gonna kill us, they're not gonna come in this house, they're not gonna regulate. You can't be married to no Caleb or Joshua if you're gonna let your family bust in anytime they want. Now talk to me. You shouldn't have nobody just pop it over your house Man, don't show up at my house without. My neighbors are called the police on you. <laughs> are you hearing me? Are you ready for opposition? Well, let's read the Bible then. I don't know. But all the all the congregation. Mm -hmm. Nobody crossed over on their side. Now here, now here here's what happens. If you decide, if you overcome opposition, they're going to all swear they was with you from day one. Then you have to be trying to tell your hand, don't slap them. No, don't do that. Get hit. 
get back to that pocket. <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than somebody lying. Talking about I was, I, remember when I helped you? Hell no, I don't remember you helping me. <laughs> I remember you doing everything you could to mess this up and. All right. And then God will tell you, don't say that. You, mmm. Mmm. Especially they got a fake family member who used to just, mmm. Okay, now, honey, my mother's coming over. I want you to, mm. <laughs> Let me walk to New Jersey and come back. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than somebody acting like they've been for you when they haven't been. Mm. Why are you talking about it? Because, you know, uh, none of this is scripted. Somebody about to have a love affair and you know, pass your limo and eight knock knee bridesmaid, you better look at some opposition. Okay? Opposition. And you gonna take it. Amen. And I'm not talking about for no short period of time. Amen. It's going to last as long as it takes for God to get out of you what he wants it to get out of you. Which means, man, I hear you, Jane Neal. Those people will teach you how to pray, how to walk with God, how to trust God, how to hold your peace. All the congregation bade stone now with stone. We all we gonna kill y'all. But look what God did in verse 10. Oh, I'm getting somebody ready. And the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle. Who showed up? The Lord. Her nose bleeding. Who showed up? The glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. God's got your back. Isn't that a good feeling? Come on now. Yes, the Lord. glory of the Lord, huh? Yes, God Lord. said, you ain't stoning. No, you ain't touching my anointing. Amen. No. Huh? Something God lets happen. Something he's like, you bet not. It ain't going to be no life or death. Amen. We didn't come over here to die. God didn't send us to Zarephath to die. We don't care what. Huh? When you make that move to get out of the army, do it with pride. Amen. Don't let them offer you another carrot stick. Amen. We got a plan. We got an agenda. You say, wait a minute. I get paid the 15th and the 30th. Man, God may pay you once. Amen. Lord, have mercy. And cover every last one. Woo. Am I helping somebody? Yay. Don't mess with me. Amen. You, amen, when you get the right person, you expect the glory of the Lord to show up. Amen. There's something, amen. God wants you to go through something, but he don't want you to go through everything. And these folks got killing on their mind. And God said, you ain't killing. <laughs> you ain't killing him. You ain't killing Caleb. So, Miss Caleb, you got to tell Caleb. Hey, Caleb, you know, I know they're talking about, man, you ain't dying. You know that, homie. You ain't dying. Huh? Oh, when they say they're going to kill you? Labor Day? Psh, Thanksgiving plan. Look at that. We booked this flight. Oh, no, that's right. What you crazy? Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I told you I'm the real deal. They talking about, they talking about letting up. Book Thanksgiving, which means I don't plan on dying on Labor Day. Amen. It's Thanksgiving. Man, you got to have that. You know what the man, the man when I left the service, the man told me? Because remember, I lost that strike. Sent me a little check for $1.53. Cent. So my orders for Korea came in. I'm like, man, I ain't, ain't going to do no Korea. Well, you got to get out. Excuse me. That's my plan. Got offended. Because I've been in 10 years. What you going to do? Watch this now. What you going to do? Sweet floors and mutual of Omaha? He wasn't too far off. I did have to go to mutual. I paid every claim came on my deck. I didn't know. I figured you wasn't lying. You said you fell off the ladder. <laughs> Go to the bank. Hated the job. Did y'all hear me, man? Hated the job. But didn't leave it till I got a better job. Let me say it again in England. Hated the job. Frustrated. Went to jobs, you overly qualified. Other job, you're not qualified enough. Mess up. Got addicted to video games. 
and soap operas. You know when your interior singular gyrus gets stuck? Man, remember, I went when I was 17, I used to get some money. Every 15 and 30, if I had some money. That's why I could have retired at the age of 37. Okay? I remember, let me help y'all, man. I remember crying, not sobbing, crying, because I couldn't get a job. Crying. Okay? They wouldn't hire me. You overly qualified. You're not qualified enough. Like, what's going on? Right? Mutual hired me. They told me for $5 an hour, I had to wear a shirt and tie. On that money? It's a good thing I had some shirts and ties. Couldn't buy nothing new. $5 an hour? Are you talking about I got to dress up? And then sent me a bunch of claims. Look like ain't no mountain high enough, but this one was. <laughs> and I got to go through all this. You talking about three weeks of training for five? Are you for five dollars an hour? You should be able to tell me in thirty minutes what I need to do. <laughs> three weeks of training for five dollars an hour. I kept getting, man, and I was getting sleepy. So I go drink water, I go get on the telephone and apply for the jobs <laughs> on my break. Took the post office test. Woo! The day they said, and I was acing them too, boy. I was messing them up. It's just something I could do, okay? Let's go 104, 105, man. It was a game to me. Like, let's get do it. But they ain't called me. They ain't called me. Which segues into. Waiting on God is the hardest thing you're going to ever do in the sanctuary. I'm, I'm going to say it again in English. Waiting on God is the hardest. But I called them. They said, come on down. That's game show talk. Right. <laughs> huh? You got the job. It was 10 o'clock. Ain't no use me staying to lunch. <laughs> Ain't no. <laughs> the Bye. starting pay was $11 an hour. Uh -huh. Why should I stay through lunch? I took my little badge off. I don't need this no more. I left that day. I don't need to make an extra $2 for the rest of the day. <laughs> I'm not staying you. for the whole day. Not at $5 an hour. Right. Give me the rest of my day. <laughs> okay? Yes, worked for the post office four years. Then had to let that go to do this. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I don't mess with you. So one time, you knew me. A thousand people, man. You know, gang thing was popping. I'm in the streets. That's why I know a lot of people. Never had no problem with old jeans. Always a little weak Mickey Mouse people. Always had something to say. All right. And reverence who screw their members and all that. They always had something to say. Other than that, real people ain't never had no problem with them. Situation popped off. Dude made a wrong lady. Church got in. I don't know what we got now. Who cares? I'm still the same dude. You know why? Because of those other experiences. See, when you know God, mmm. When you know God has your back, you can, amen, adjust to whatever situation. Y'all ain't hearing me. Amen. You can adjust. Huh? So let me talk to Miss Kabunji. When he, while he make good money, got rank, huh? But if he got to start all over, you're going to be the same banger, amen, whose stomach got full early in the marriage. Amen. Why? Because I didn't marry you for the camouflage, amen. I married you because you a man of God and we were destined, amen. And whatever storm we're going to go through. Yeah. Because if you show any kind of, this ain't the way it used to be. Mm. Don't tell nobody. Men don't never forget. Well, I remember when I could go to the BX and yeah, what? 
12 carts. Now you got one, you got to make it last. Okay? Men don't forget. I don't care how you adjust the story. Don't forget. So what's your point? My point is, doing your opposition, you're going to secure the future blessing. Y'all missed that, huh? Doing your opposition, doing your test, your trial, when the opposition has stones in their hand, when they're trying to fire you on the job, when they're building all kinds of, man, some of y'all know what I'm talking about? You ever had people against you on the job? No, even people don't even like each other. Get together. Gang up on you. Huh? Man, you know what your daughter did? Your daughter told the folks at the bank that you went to Paris. And then came back, told them you went to Rome. Brian Jr. said, you can't do that with people planning on going to Kansas City three years from now. <laughs> <laughs> they can't digest that. <laughs> You know, my, my waitress, my waitress at the farmhouse, we got a standing joke. She know I go all over. She said, where you been? Barlow, where you been? She said, I was Council Bluffs. That's a little standing joke. <laughs> council Bluffs, okay? She know, man, I be psh, leaving on a jet plane. But you can't tell people who have a particular mindset about what you can afford. A right, right. oh, man, huh? I'm getting y'all ready for some opposition. See, I believe God. I believe God going to honor your walk with God. I believe God going to give you the love of your life. Amen. I'm trying to get you ready. Amen. So you won't, amen, leave God when the opposition comes. Because opposition is coming. If you marry the Caleb or Joshua, God has to prepare you for opposition. Don't tell nobody. You know why? Because your love affair is of God and Satan hates you and wants to destroy. See, as long as you would boo thing, making babies, getting tricked and whatever, eh, that's Satan using you. But don't try to do right. Once you talk about doing right, opposition is coming. And you can't do nothing about it. Everyone who tries to live holy has to face persecution. It is no way around it. Go back to data collab, not off top. So when you talk to this person, you got to be a history buff. Amen. If they already falling apart and y'all ain't together, uh, that's your answer. If they're already falling apart and somebody's talking about them or somebody don't like them or you know, man, man, like, you know what? Ain't no use you hooking up with me because, hey man, I'm over here to stay, Lord, until I die. You already falling apart and we ain't even together. You mean to tell me that if somebody can't handle pressure, that's the reason to cut it off? Uh, yeah, you want it in another language? Right. Give me a week. You think this is a game? You really think you're going to boo up with the love of your life and say not fight you? You tripping. You tripping. You understand how scared Satan is of your womb? Are you, 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 you understand how scared Satan is of your seed? Do you understand that, hey, I don't care what mistake you made, whatever. Hey, Amen. Thank God for baptism in Jesus' name. Sorry. But if you ever get it right, Somebody said, Pastor Bob, but what about my problem? Joyce Meyer said, your problems let you know you need God. That's right. That's what your, your, somebody thank God for the problem. Your problems let you know that you need God. Okay. Your problems will keep you from meddling with other people. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will. <laughs> Man, when you $10 away from getting your lights back on, you ain't bothering nobody. No. <laughs> you ain't bothering nobody. You checking jean pockets. You shaking jackets down. You looking under couches. You going to hotels, thumping up cushions. You $10 away from getting your stuff cut back on. You ain't bothering nobody. All right? If you marry this man, write this down. The stones are real. <laughs> 
The stones are real. Ain't that right, Gabby? See, see why me and you had that conversation? Man, you, you can't. That's a child, but that ain't even, that's, that's wading pool stuff. Dang, that ain't nothing to put on Facebook. That's wading pool. See what I put on Facebook? I put on, <laughs> I mess with people. Oh, I put, if I put right now, I would have 700 likes, all kind of ministries. I don't know if I can make it. All kind of inboxes. All kind of. Are you kidding? You ain't never getting that mess out of me. Amen. As far as they concerned, I'm doing wonderful. <laughs> So time out for both of y'all coming to church or not coming to church because things are happening. That's your telltale sign. What are you saying? When you boot up with the love of your life and all hell break loose, come to church early. You do that for two reasons, Brandy. First of all, you ain't mad at God. Come on now. You still remember when you were single, amen. You ain't mad at God. You and God weren't courting. You in love with God. That's number one. Number two, you want your companion to know, man, I ain't fading. Now, I'm not a pair of cheap G's where all the blue come out in the wash. I got here in hear me. Hey. Then that person starts leaning on you and trusting you because they know you're going to always put God for all that, not coming to China, all the little trick. Or if you sit on the second row, now you're in row 87. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had one it polo happened. child. He was yeah. a sick man, sit all up in the back. That was, her, that was my sign. I ain't way better. <laughs> up in the bleachers. You trying to get a hold of me right now? No. You wait till I look up in the balcony. Right. She's a good person, but no, I mean, all that, come on now. Huh? Brian Jr. got a 50-year-old man on his job. A fit, not 40, not 30, 50. <laughs> and here, Davion, how old Davion? 19, 18? <laughs> Davion was in demand. He had a 50, 50-year-old man. That's like a weight, got a pumpy bump. <laughs> Are you hearing me? Fitty. Everybody requesting Davion, good attitude, whatever. Here's a fitty year old man falling apart. He'll put stuff on Facebook like, you know what? I don't need. I need a ride now. What the hell? You need a ride? Are you fifty? <laughs> You should have a few rides by the end. A ride per decade. Oh Somebody God. fix me a plate. Hell, by 50, you got to have your own plate, your own grill, your own sauce, just about. By 50, you should know how to cook. You should have some hamburger helper, something on you, right? <laughs> Come on, now, at 50, you ought to have some old coupons from Bronco, something on you. <laughs> and fit it. <laughs> if you around the way, woman, ride or die, you don't want no crying man because he sees some stones. <laughs> Honey, why ain't you at work? They talking about they was going to fire me, so I just went on and left. <laughs> Oh, hell. <laughs> Could you have stayed another week? We ten dollars short from getting our stuff back home. <laughs> they was talking about firing me, so I left anyway. Oh. And he think he gonna get some. <laughs> no, you're gonna get an application. What's this? Who <laughs> is a thrifty nickel? What do you think it is? A thrifty nickel and a magic marker. <laughs> I done got stuck on one verse. 
That mean, you know what that mean? Oh, man, that's right, NFL ain't on. You know what that mean? That just mean that when don't come crawling me crying on the park. I told you tonight that opposition is coming. I'm going to mess with you. This is the kind of opposition you've been looking for. Amen. Because you got to help. Oh, y'all hear me. This kind of opposition. If you boot up with the love of your life, the Bible said two are better than one. We're talking about no threesomes now. We're talking about two are better than one. The third person's God. Ain't no other person now. And you know, extra pair of boxer or drawers on the floor. Lead them. Uh -uh. No, no, ain't no threesomes over here. But God. Right. Husband, wife, ain't two men, ain't Sam and, and, and Dave. No, keep that to R and B. Don't bring that to no relationship. All right? Huh? Right. The third third one is God at the triangle. That's right. Do I still have a piece of paper in my office somewhere? Got new people here. Go see if we can find a copy. Triangle. God is on top. God ain't on the side. He's on top. At the top. Yeah. In order for you to make it. Without God, you will destroy each other. Ash and ash. Fire and fire. They'll get on your nerves. Huh? But with God, ish and isha. They work it out. What, what is it, doctor? What's that bar at the bottom? Huh? The base of, man, that's some good stuff. The base of affection is the bar at the bottom. Don't worry, I'm going to put on the bar. I'm going to give you a sheet. Okay? The bar at the bottom is the base of affection. Joy is multiplied. Sorrow shared. Sorrow shared. Which means they don't, have, they don't have to be sorrowful. I mean, you mean to tell me with the base of affection and the sorrow sharing, you, know you can't face some opposition. You can't face some stones. You can't face some liars. Amen. When you've been facing stuff by yourself and now you got. And don't be speaking in no uh, uh, I'm scared tongues. Right. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Yeah, but you scared everybody. Right. <laughs> now, the, the Holy Ghost <coughs> made evident by speaking in tongues. That's real. That's Christ in you. That's your sign. Tongues are signs of an unbeliever. Scared tongues are when that's your way of saying you scared in another language. It goes something like this. Well, you know, another 12 clients quit cancer. <laughs> Excuse me, what this mean? You about to take off? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Now, if you married to a fool like me, I say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. I can't control myself. You like me. That is the wrong use of tongue. Amen. <laughs> if the only time you can speak in tongue is you scared, that's crazy. What kind of Holy Ghost is that? Hmm? Opposition is when you bring in the relaxer. That's when you start switching and wearing stuff that don't fit. <laughs> now everybody getting spiritual. They like, <laughs> like you threw all the stuff out that don't fit. <laughs> That's when you start bouncing up and down and bending over. And, 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 and unpinning stuff. Look at the people. Look at all the spiritual people. Here. Man, see, see, oh, now, now, now you're going to try to give me this way. See, you can't be walking around the house in no converted house shoes. Get your lingerie game right. Man, that's a distraction. Bullet holes. Safety pins. 
Huh? Elastic coming out the bra, putting people's eyes out. <laughs> last, last time he was snapped and he got red eyes. <laughs> something to slap back in his face. <laughs> get, your, get your house cold game. That ain't no storage, B. <laughs> All kind of stuff in your pockets. <laughs> come on now. Belt loop missing. The belt don't even come around. You got a different belt from a different house coat on there. Looking like a two-tone Buick. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't look like no bag lady when the man under pressure. <laughs> He got, he got to go to the homeless shelter to get some relief? Come on now. That's when. <laughs> yeah. He talked about beans and rice ain't missed it. Now's the time to fill the plate up. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, 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 look. It's 835. <laughs> you think opposition is a game? Oh, no, it's not. Here's what Satan plans. I'm going to play my music. Y'all need something to lighten up. Y'all just. Satan plans. Only, he just needs a little. That's why you'll never marry no chick who just come to church. She will open the door for a sake. He over here. Come on in. He just need a little room. He need a husband that comes home angry. He need a wife who says the first thing comes to her mind. That's all he needs. He don't need no weed. He don't need no... He just needs somebody who doesn't review who says the first thing that comes to their mind, who is not in control of their emotions, he will wreck your house. He needs somebody who comes in after a hard day and says, wait a minute, it ain't her fault, it ain't the kid's fault, I ain't coming here like no artillery, huh? Man, I'm going to come. Matter of fact, I'm in my safety zone now. I've been thinking about when I can come home. I got these demon depression. Ain't had no chick coming here with black tire marks in the driveway. Keep hitting the garage door. Even when it's up. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. Erica, why you laughing, baby? You have a little driving problem, baby. <laughs> just because you can't go to Chicago no more. That's just, you know, the curb never got over you hitting it. The curb never got over. We heard the curb cry. We heard it. <laughs> Cars don't make that kind of noise. <laughs> Only when they hit curves. <laughs> you, just, you just listen to the next message. <laughs> you you, you got to have somebody who says, you know what, this is something happened. Here's what you don't say. What's wrong with you? I can see some of y'all going, now what? You don't ask that. What's wrong with you? You! Now your feelings hurt. Now neither one of y'all want to watch The Voice. <laughs> <laughs> Just got the TV on and, it, and both of y'all ain't watching it. Just got your cable back on. <laughs> it's been, been dreaming about that day for a month and a half. <laughs> and now you're coming in there and mess the whole mood up. And then he get people, man, he get people act the fool on Friday. That's blow a whole weekend. <laughs> He's like, where you going? I'm going to work. You don't work the money. I'm leaving now. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't work on the weekend. I'm starting to. You don't mess up on no Friday. Let's talk ministry. If they in ministry, you don't say nothing stupid Saturday. Monday, they mine is shot. So there you go. I told the pastor wife that that three days out right there. 
Saturday is here come the devil. Sunday, you already know. Monday, pew. <laughs> you're not supposed to be in a relationship helping the devil. Let's try that. Right. He don't need no help. Somebody has to have some restraint. Somebody has to have some power. Okay? Y'all ready for some music now? Oh. I got stuck on verse 10. Are you ready for opposition? Are you ready, Kabunji family, Reynolds family, for this new baby that's going to come? For the attention. Watch this now. Are you ready? Now you got three children. Now is when you set up your discipline. Now. Teaching moments. Now. You do role play. You play church at home. Now, take two people. Now, a new baby coming. Things going to change. Everything changing. That's that gear shift. Make the adjustment. Okay? Body worn down. Ain't nobody planning on postpartum. You ain't no female. You don't know what's going to happen. She don't know what's going to happen. What's wrong with you? She'll tell you, your penis did this. That was wrong. I just gave birth. You want to walk around carrying eight pounds? Huh? You know how powerful we are? Seven, six, six, seven, eight pounds carrying it around? You don't know how the body going to respond. It may not be the same person. It may take three months. It may take whatever. Postpartum, everything changes. Now is when you set your discipline up, right? If you do it right, the oldest child will help. If you do it wrong, if you make over the baby, uh, but you beating the other kids, you're going to have a problem, right? Because the other kids are going to like, well, excuse me, I need it. All of a sudden, you're going to see the other kid trying to grab, jump into the crib so they can be a baby. That's why I watch my mama. Uh, two of us were dark, other one she as fair as you. My mother didn't let them come and get her and lead the two chocolatos out. Right. You ain't getting none of them. Right. Amen. Well, uh, my sister has, that's my, we had the same daddy. She has hazel eyes. They look like marbles. Okay? My other chocolate sister's son looks like my real father. My mother, four foot ten, you ain't coming to get none of them. You ain't going to go get one. You ain't getting none of them. You ain't bringing a one little, one big gift and two little. You ain't bringing no gifts. You got to have stuff set up and get ready for war. Hmm? So when the new baby come, here's your little brother, here's your little sister, hold them, whatever. We got the same rules. Okay? Ah, your situation is different. Your son come, it can't be, uh, Harvey, and then you hug him. You're going to mess up. Vice versa. Huh? It can't be, Junior, huh? But oh, come here, uh, 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 Kai. Excuse me. Satan don't care who opened the door and let him in. Right. Just get me in there. Right. I'm scared of y'all. Y'all got too much going on. Amen. Y'all going to fool around. Amen. And everybody going to want what y'all have. Let me mess y'all up now. I'm going to come some way. If I can't come between y'all, I'll come with One of y'all gonna have to train this next group while I fly around the world and do what I want to do. But you ain't doing it without passing no test. Strategize. 
Your baby coming quick. You got to have a strike. Here's what we going to do. Man. Feeding this, that. And that's God. We praying. We don't want the baby to have no problems. See the adjustment? Got other kids involved. See the adjustment? Same thing. You stun us with children. We don't, and children don't scare no real person. Y'all make adjustment. Y'all young. Some of y'all gonna have babies again. Same thing. Adjustment. Trey and uh, Trey and Kenny. No. Okay. Well, uh, 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 the Bells. No. Husband and wife. Both kids. You don't want somebody who 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 love you but don't want your kids. Man, that's a game change. Man, don't bring that to grace. <laughs> You don't know when God gonna bless you. You don't go throw away your child, a man. And what makes it beautiful is when, huh? See, see, that's why I don't. I ain't feeling Scotty Pippen. You know what? Had nothing to do with basketball. You know what it has something to do with? Made some baby come on with a nose like that. You gotta know it's yours, homie. You know that you know you that shouldn't be no secret. Okay, I mean you know it is what it is, huh? But the wife had a baby together, but the wife, but she don't want him in the life of the other baby. That don't work at grace. That don't work at grace, huh? I've already ran a member out here for that. She can talk all she want to talk. She don't love that man's kids. Man. Talking about she outgrew grace. No, you didn't either. Mm, shut up, Barlow. <laughs> no, you didn't love his kids. You know he had all those kids? Right. Made over the ones y'all had and then let man come. What kind of man let that happen in the first place? What kind of man does that? Can I go on, man? See? You should have said amen. I don't care if the baby mama can't stay in you. For the fact it came from your husband, you don't care. You don't go toe to toe with her. You don't care. You suck it up. You like, you know what? Here's, here's Geraldine again. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'm not going to fall apart because you. I don't know what you did to her, but I'm not going to fall apart. Amen. Like a child, like, so I wouldn't have noticed. You know, I got a semi-photographic mom. Mother taught me how to read when I was two or three. You mean to tell me I wouldn't remember them making over my light-skinned sister and leaving me and my other sister? I would have remembered that, baby. You mean to tell me I wouldn't remember uh, uh, me and the dark sister getting corrected one way and she getting corrected? You don't think I remember that? I bet you remember some stuff. See, this is the kind of stuff they did in the Bible to make you rethink who you think you are. Oh, that was good. Because that's pressure. All three bottles came out of that womb. Man, Raphael, who the hell he trying to choke? James? We looked up, he had his hand in the crib. Was, that, was it James? Was it James? It was James. Because it's a six year age difference. We looked up, he. Well, I mean, but he, he, he was in for six years. Am I helping y'all? He was in. Cammy, Cammy's. Cammy's always been in. Huh? Had to do something right, they all live in Dallas. We don't get reports about them falling out and fighting all that kind of stuff. Huh? Had to do something right. They followed him to school. Can I mess with y'all? Who's, who's the oldest? Abby. Nolly. This is a child that's going to make it easier when a new child comes. If this, if this is a child that's going to make it so the other children will want to go to college. That's why my boys wanted to go to school. They used to go down to Jackson State to be with Raphael. Huh? The oldest child is the one who had to put, 
That's why Raphael got cars that the others didn't have because he had to go through the church being started. He had to come on. Y'all got to learn this stuff. When you met Raphael, what he had? That red car, right? There's a reason I did that. He's the one who had to hear your father sell dope, your father this. Man, he, he, wrecked, a, he wrecked a land cruiser at birth. <laughs> he the one who went through everything. He had a land cruiser. He, he, he wrecked a land cruiser and, and I think he had an LX 470. I don't know if he ever got insurance in his name. He had to be 30. Why'd you do that? He's the one who went through all the mess. By the time, by the time they were talking to James about, man, you know James, he's so cold anyway. Huh? Some girl talking about, I heard your father sell drugs. James like, yeah, really? Huh. huh. Man, James make you feel stupid. <laughs> you can have a PhD, he make you feel stupid. He can care less. Cammy. The, little, the girl who killed the girl at Burger King down in South. She came to Cammy. I heard about your father. Yeah, that's right. And he jumped in a G500. <laughs> it's like, whatever it is, I ain't on the bus. <laughs> whatever you is. I go, man, you are miss. You know, he didn't get mad like, yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> but the first one, the first one. The one that watched you cry. That's the one you come home and hug. Huh? Watch us now. That one. Who, who, who remembered a little house. Am I helping now? That one. Not the new, the new one is the, the new one get, come on now. It's made over, celebrated, the new one. Huh? The other ones had to deal with, y'all ain't hearing me. The other ones had to deal. You start with them, not the new one. You come home, you grab the oldest in the order. How my little man today? No, you excelled. Say, suppose they did something. Don't deal with it right away. You wait. You judge. You Doppler radar. That's the child who might have some some residue for when things weren't together. The baby. Don't I talk to Carl and Kelly Joe the same way? This the one made over. Don't forget the other one who had to survive all your indecision, your mistakes, your... <laughs> and I proved it. And you know what the other two, they had a problem with where Rafi drove because he's driving them around. <laughs> they had no problem. Okay? Bishop Jake said, your children act, same thing, with, with, I saw Jericho the other day, based on what was going on in your life. And you don't hide your children to get nobody. Right. It is what it is. Huh? See, that X member, X meaning good. <laughs> She full of herself too. Talking about the other, the what child number four talking about. It, it, this, this is the woman who, who he lied to and said he was gonna marry because the one he divorced put him out. So she he met, so she had a baby. So then he marries, he man. I ain't, man, they don't want me to get on crack, tell all they been. Anyway, he, he so he marries this this one. And a girl come and tell me, ah, she's still in love with my husband. Mm, watch that ball. Yeah, yes she is, uh, dear. He lied to her. So she got to cut off her feelings. He lied to her and married you. 
Uh, excuse me, they didn't fall out of the amen, the wall. Hey, they were there when you said I do. You supposed to look, man. You don't keep her daddy away. Hey, he weak. You don't keep her daddy away. So she is in love. He, his boxes don't fall off because she in love with him. They got to come off because he take them off. Hey, amen. You can't have no low self esteem. You can't be accusing. If there's an ex, they got to be on the phone with him. They made a life together. If you ain't up for it, put it in amen in black ink. Don't act like you up for it and then bring it up when a situation comes. Holler back at me. Yeah. Uh, see why you're not ready to pastor? <laughs> I go from jokes to not playing. Just like that. Cause at any time somebody gonna come out and pick one of you stunners. Any time. I'm talking about this year, I ain't talking about next year. At any time. And then everything I say gonna become relevant. See, they it's gonna be relevant for them like in weeks. And you learn something. Make over the oldest child. Every day, make over. Go down the line, then the next one. So then when the baby comes, they won't be like, I sure wish I was that baby. I wish I was that baby. His son come to visit. <gasps> That's my man. I know I'm teaching right. Huh? You know, some of y'all who been, who, you know, ain't gonna raise your hand tonight, who, who never was made over, you know, that's all you would have needed to cross over. If you would have had that, some of y'all had your mama put you on the back burner because somebody loved it. Some of y'all ain't even told your mama how he was looking at you and hanging by the bathroom and all that kind of stuff. Hey, Amen. You did whatever. Oh, man, some of y'all about to cry. You did everything you could not to get put out. You knew when she was being treated right. Hey, Amen. You knew when she slapped you too hard. You wish you would have got some teaching like this. Hey, Amen. It, it caused you to walk around with low self-esteem. You didn't even love, hey, Amen, who you got with. You just tried to escape. Holler back at me. You would have had some teaching like this and been made over. That's all you needed. Well, guess what? You wasn't, supposed, you wasn't supposed to get it then, but you're getting it right now. Somebody swallow hard, amen. It's a save your life. What's going to happen? Amen. Here's, here's the future if you listen. The, the baby, ain't even, I'm talking about the baby, baby ain't even here yet. Because a pastor don't wait till the baby get here. That's a devil. A, de a devil like... I'm getting there somehow. You don't, you, 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 you're responsible for a whole road being here. You got to pay for it. Now, I think you're used to that. You got to pay for that soul. You're responsible for a whole road being here. That's a mad devil. A whole road. We ain't talking about the one who got back. Her, what about the person who's going to come back? Man. Uh, the other time you brought a group here, that boy almost died in front of this church on his motorcycle. I watched it. He pulled out, didn't see the car, and almost died, which I told him, man, you supposed to be here, man. So I'm supposed to wait and let the devil roll up on these love affairs that everybody's watching? Facebook all over the world. Man, are you kidding me? Amen. This is what is called in the military a preemptive strike. I'll snap the devil before he slaps y'all. Amen. If you stick around here, you appreciate a preemptive. Cause I know there's a devil looking slobbery like I'm messing there's too many people that want what y'all have there's too many kids amen you got somebody trying to act like they waited on God to be like you they ain't like you
You didn't chase after him. You got a devil that hates you. Preemptive. <laughs> it was going to happen. That baby come out 20 years from now, that child going to stand up. Hmm? Say, I love my parents. But it was my big brother. Yeah. It was my big brother. It was Avi. It was a Kai. They the ones that looked out for me. While the parents were building their legacy. It was knowledge. Knowledge and come out. Kamari the one that told that bully, you look at my little boy. Y'all can't pay me for what I just did. Now, now see, you, you ought to turn around and look at Mother Gracie. She about to fall out. They don't know, do they, Mother Gracie? They have no idea. No idea what I just did for y'all. Preemptive strike. Okay? Everything is a teaching moment. Everything. Gear shift. And what did you do today, little handsome man? If you do it right, you ain't got to spend a lot of time with them. They just want to hear one good thing. Okay, well, he, because one, he's tender. What's the, what's the one that's real loving and tender? He, Kai, you have to, you have to, you have to, no character. Like, your situation is different. You have to know. When you have a, a child torn between two, you got to know. The, some things you got to let slide because he got somebody else in their ear. Man, Ain't no books on this stuff. And then if it's something serious that she's letting slide, but it's a thing, that's when you step in and say, no, the standard in this house, which all the kid does is look around and go, well, that means everybody, well, if everybody does it, then I'm, like, When people don't get taught like this, the kids already, and I go for all of y'all, ain't mad. Then I talk to you about Chris and Caleb the same way. Now I don't be playing, man. I ain't got no member I'm scared of. All right? Same thing. Now her situation, well, because you can have an attachment to that child's father over another child. I try to handle everything that comes into the church. You feel me? You come in here, I deal with it. I ain't running, man. Everything coming in church, I deal with. But at any time, Brand, where Brandy, don't her struggles remind you of you when you came here. Could not control her son. And then a Dante came along, Lord Hammer. No, no, am I, am I lying? A Dante came along. See, when a pastor care about you, because at any time, Stunner, it could be this year. All of a sudden, I don't want nobody with children. Now, you, you, you sound real stupid when you got kids. <laughs> now, you sound real stupid. Watch this now. Trey, John, and Kitty never even said that they didn't have any, because you don't know whose kids you might end up having to have. Right. You got to be careful with it. There's so many things your mouth can do to you. I don't want no kid. Uh, then you find out you can't have none. But you want some. Man, you gotta be careful what you say. Okay?
imps. Y'all young. Somebody come along. Huh. Same thing. That, I mean, you had a conversation, right? Told that friend, don't be making over because he looked just like Bear. He looked more like Bear than, his, than, than the three he got from his wife. But make over, don't lose her. Matter of fact, if you really hear me, you have a day for each child before the other one comes. So when the baby comes, they'll be telling the baby, your day is Thursday, baby, spitting up like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> it's beautiful to watch the kids apply the standard that's in the house. They'll be telling the baby, your day is Thursday. Goo, 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 baby. <laughs> Like, like, love of your life come and you put down your daughter. You ain't gonna be on that front row. If you do, you're gonna have some spit on you. I'm gonna be on you. You're gonna throw him away. Chris don't get a chance. Ain't no way in hell. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See why everybody can't do this job? Ask my educators what happens if somebody don't teach what they run into on the next level. Kids who have been put down, who hate the fact that somebody came in their mama's life. All they did was add to the mistreatment. When you mistreated as a child, you don't never forget it. Never. I was going to play some music. I ain't playing it now. I want this to marinate. When, I say if, when that love affair come and please, you know what, Bishop I ain't so close to no member I can't put them out. <laughs> Well, your church empty now. What's wrong? Then another seat won't make a difference, will it? <laughs> Let's try that angle. And we won't even know the difference. <laughs> Unless you pull up out the foundation carried with you. And this is coming from somebody, twin, who was it from day one. I didn't get mistreated till I left home. <laughs> I was here from day one. Day one. Only son, youngest, birthday two days apart from her. Come on, do the math. That's easy math. But I remember her not letting either side of the family separate us. And she meant it. At four foot eleven, she meant it. Okay? You marry somebody with kids. Now, man, can I go ahead and talk out? You know what the talk game is? Bring on. Don't sit there and make over his kids to get him when you can't stand them. Don't make over his kid and let his kid do something. But if y'all do, you beat him half to death. Man, you got to go before God. You're going to have a love affair. I'm trying to help y'all, man. I didn't say come to church. You got to go before God. And even if that other person's companion, man, that day that man walked, you didn't even see him. It made my heart. You was like, hey, man, that's real. You owe him for that. It wasn't no stand. Like, hey, man, come on. It's a package deal, people. <laughs> hey, man. Do y'all know it's a whole bunch of people watching this church? Cause we, we the only one talking about marriage. Right. This ain't no screw around, man. Anybody, man, getting something on the side, they don't, they don't stay right here long. 
and the blessing of the Lord could come. You don't know when. When God, when your fragrance hit his nose, amen, you can get blessed this year and have to apply all these principles. Any questions? That's, what I said. That's an adjustment. If Trey, you know, they try to start a family yet, but if, if she, that's an adjustment. You gonna hate the child? You know, there are mothers who hate their children. Wow. Wow. Have y'all noticed when a McCullough's here? You know how much conversation I give Tony. I try to be consistent. Okay. Chuck a lug, chuck a lug is that's the baby that but the essence of the home is not chuck a lug, it's the others. Any questions? Don't inbox me, talk now. <laughs> Amen. All right, well, let's have a little altar call. <laughs>